to deliver our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Live Oak Texas Vodka is scheduled for five rounds and is for the Fury Amateur Series Featherweight Championship. Introducing to you first fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet six inches tall and he weighed in at 142.6 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, his amateur record stands at two wins, no losses. Here is Rafael Garcia. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet seven inches tall and he weighed in officially at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Port Neches, Texas, his amateur record stands at four wins. Only one defeat. Here is the orangutan, Damien Orende. And now your referee, Ryan Thompson, with the final championship instructions. All right, guys, we know the rules in the back. Protect yourselves at all time. Obey my instructions. Touch them up. Have a good fight. All right, Ryan Thompson in charge of this title fight, giving the last instructions there. Both fighters in their corners, ready to go. Cage doors being locked now. Second title fight of the evening underway. Touch of gloves, here we go. Oh, Randy oh. throws a heavy right hit and lands immediately. <laughs> Man, he's making Garcia shoot on him. These guys wasted zero seconds, banging it out and tying up. We've seen Aranda with his long arms snatch up these singles and high C's before. He's in deep on one now. Got now, Garcia on the defense. I remember when Garcia fought hit the grappler, and I think his debut, he made it really hard to score takedowns. But again, Aranda's not just a good jiu-jitsu guy. He's a good jiu-jitsu guy for MMA, and there's a big difference. Strong base here from Garcia. Using that, using that right arm, kind of underhook. Oh, there, there goes the base. Now he's gonna be in some trouble. Yeah, Watch, you're gonna see Damien use his left knee to kind of like enter in almost as like a weave. Nice, Garcia built his base. Ronde looking for the back now. A lot of time. One hook in. Garcia did a good job keeping him pressed against the fence to prevent the other hook from getting, but Aranda doesn't care. He goes for the neck to open the window to get the hook in. aranda has got a little blood on his nose. Yeah, it looks like a small cut right there on the bridge of the nose. Aranda, looking, I'm sorry, Alex, looking for that body triangle. These guys just banged it out for the first five seconds of the fight. And I think, I think actually Aranda got the better of the strikes. Put Garcia down to a knee. Made him shoot. There's Ronde an arm going bar. for the arm. Oh, man, that's right on the elbow. That is right on the elbow. He's going for it. He's got the thumb up, the elbow down. Oh, my, oh, my. Hand no up for a moment. Can see you get out of this. No, oh, oh. Aranda goes across the hip now to tighten the lock. Damien has broken an arm before in his debut. He's not, not going to do it. Oh, my God. It's under the armpit. Oh, my God. There's the tap. tap. Wow. Wow, Whoa. Damien. Collecting the title in impressive fashion. Man, man. We talked about his jiu-jitsu, Alex. Not only a good jiu-jitsu guy, a jiu-jitsu guy good for MMA, right? He's able to get the fight to where he knows he's gonna be dominant. Gets to the back, gets the Kimura grip off the back control, and then goes right for the armbar. Full extension, has to fight for a while, but gets the massive extension on the arm. Arm bar finish, Damian Aranda, new 145 pound champion. Excuse my excitement, but that was an impressive finish there from the orangutan. Another first round submission, adding to the three in a row that he already had leading up to the title fight. Four submission fi finishes in four fights. You see the full extension, he goes across the hip here. Under the armpit, maximum leverage, and decides, yeah, I gotta, I gotta break it. Full extension, 
Garcia's arm fully extended, forcing him to tap. Let's go to Wayne, make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, four seconds into the very first round. Declaring your winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And new Fury Amateur Series featherweight champion, the orangutan, Damian Orandi. Congratulations once more to Damian Orandi getting the job done here in the first, our new featherweight Hi champion. Guys, I'm talk to Alex champ, now. Damian Orandi, man, that fight started so fast. You guys traded crazy hooks. He actually initiated the takedown. You were able to just transition like a good black belt, a great black belt. And if you guys don't know, in his debut years ago, he dislocated this guy's arm so bad with a similar arm bar. You were ready to do it again. What were you thinking when you were cranking on that man's arm? Please tap. <laughs> Please, I don't want to do that again. Yeah, no, it was brutal the first time, especially for an amateur fight. Let's take a look at the big screen. If you would just kind of walk us through the technique and your mindset right here. Yeah, like right here, I knew like I had to put a more imp into it. So I tucked it in the armpit here in just a second to get the finish. Yeah, in the finish, you found your champ now. You've been super active, a violent finisher. What is next? Pros, I hope you're at home training and not sitting on the couch because I'm coming for the 145 professional division. Good, you need to go pro. If you could give us a, a best case scenario time frame, what month are we looking at? You let me know when I'm ready. I'm waiting for Eric Garcia and Drew Ratajek to tell me when I'm going. Well, we can't wait. Your champion, Damon Aronde. And new featherweight champion, Damon Aronde. Getting that post-fight picture in right now with him and his team.